This is a device made by Servo City. Um, it's, I think it's 109 bucks, very reasonable. It allows you to control up to four devices, whether they're servos or motors that are driven by an electronic speed control, whatever. This device also has three minutes of recording time, meaning flip it over to the record side and do all your movements. And then when you're done, you can play back that and it will play back exactly what you did. I mounted it onto the side of one of the feet that I made for the slider. And I've motorized this device, uh, purchased a 60 RPM motor on eBay, purchased the pulleys, one on each end, and this belt. Uh, you buy the belt by the foot, and uh, I, I bought 10 feet, and uh, bought some aluminum stock, it's two inches wide, drilled and countersunk the screws to mount the motor. You have a shim under here that positions the pulley at the right height up and down. That way the, the belt sits just right at the right height. If it was too high, it would rub up against the bottom of the sled. So that worked out real good. On the other end is the same type of uh, shim, aluminum shim underneath here. The screws that mount that go straight through the stock screw holes in the I just slider and the bottom of this is uh, slotted so that that whole device, that whole end piece can be moved in and out to adjust for the tightness of the belt. I decided that instead of just mounting this uh, fluid head uh, directly onto the sled, I, I purchased another device from servocity.com and it's uh, a servo driven, little, it's a little box that you, bu that you buy, you buy it as a kit, it's all, it's all uh, assembled basically. Uh, this little box, it's a servo, I made these brackets, had to drill them and countersink them and had to tap the uh, top of the sled for these mounting screws because there was no room to go down all the way without going into these bl slider blocks. And uh, it comes with this big gear. You can get different gear ratios. This is the biggest gear ratio. I believe it's 13 13.5 to one ratio. Want it to be super smooth and super slow. And you can see here that it's, it's pretty slow. You can see it's going very slow. Slide this over to record, the start button, sled's going to go to the right, camera's going to pan left. I'm going to line it up a little bit better there. I'm going to come back. One more time. And we'll come back again. We're done. We want to play that back. You have to manually line up the sled and the camera. So I got a little marker here to where it's in the same position because it doesn't have what they call feedback. These devices are not responding to this controller with a potentiometer. It's not telling it where it's at. All the recorder does is memorize uh, what was done. So we'll play back what we did earlier. It'll play it back.
but he's pretty quiet. This is actually the front side of the slider. This is a gel cell battery underneath there. So that's that. This is the same pulley here. Uh, I've got it mounted on a piece of steel rod. The steel rod is uh, tightened to the pulley with a set screw. I drilled uh, a, the right size hole for the tap for a small um, little grub screw, Allen's grub screw, and then the rest of it from that point out uh, was a bigger hole so that the set screw, you don't have to screw it all the way in through all the meat. Uh, works real well. And then, that, and then inside here, I've fitted uh, a couple of bearings. I actually got them off of a couple of router bits. Another neat thing this has, this is a loop button. So instead of just playing at one time, I can hit play and flip it into the loop mode. And it will play that sequence over and over and over and over and over until the cows come home. <laughs> 